MCQ 29 have us take a look at metal as a chapter with regards to a displacement reaction. Now to understand displacement, the incoming metal has to be more reactive as compared to the outgoing metal cation. which is less reactive and as a result let's call the incoming metal as metal A and the outgoing metal cation as B plus the result of this experiment if there is a displacement reaction that's happening you will see metal A oxidizing to form a cation and metal B reducing to form an atom. Now, the incoming metal A, when placed in the solution containing that of metal cation B, and if a displacement were to happen, this is the observation that we will be seeing around metal A, which is a solid there should be a precipitate and this precipitate is actually that of the B that was displaced. And now, and you can see the solution majority now would have been less of B plus, but starting to be that more of A and plus. So with this going through for lead as the incoming metal, you do see that there is totally no reaction happening. So when lead was placed in separate test tube of itself, definitely there should not be any reaction. But if there's no reaction with magnesium, iron, as well as X2+, from the first, I do know that lead has to be less reactive as compared to magnesium, iron, as well as X2+. Now in the second, we're going to have magnesium placed within. We do see that magnesium is able to cause PB2 plus to have a reaction occurring, suggesting that magnesium is more reactive than PB. A reaction for Fe2 plus as well as a reaction for X2 plus. So it tells me that magnesium is more reactive than lead, iron, as well as X itself. So going over to the third reaction of iron. When placed in PB2+, there is a reaction. And when placed in X, there is a reaction as well. So this tells me that iron is more reactive than PB as well as X. And lastly, for the unknown of X, when placed in lead, there is a displacement reaction. And that is the only thing that has taken place telling me that X is more reactive than lead. So ordering from most reactive metal towards the least reactive metal. The one that has the greatest amount of displacement would have been the most reactive and that will take the place for magnesium. And after magnesium, this will be followed by iron. Lastly, followed by X, and the one that has no displacement at all would have been the least reactive, and that is going to be lead by itself. So it will be Mg being more reactive than iron, being more reactive than X, and being more reactive than lead. The answer for this question here is 8.